Hello friends of TV Agro, my name is Susan Castillo, I am a biologist and the project and collection coordinator of the Santa Cruz Zoo Foundation. I am going to present some of the conservation projects that we manage here, we manage approximately seven projects and today we are facing one of them, which is our arthropodarium. In the arthropodarium, we manage everything related to arthropods in our region. Arthropods are a strange word for some, I tell you what they are, tarantulas, scorpions, stick insects, crickets and other smaller animals. It turns out that we have a conservation program where we manage and teach people about the life and importance of these little animals that for many are not liked. It turns out that there are people who are afraid of tarantulas, who he is afraid of scorpions. Here we show people that they are quite important, that they have an importance within the food chain, within ecosystems. And that it is not only that we are afraid of them, we go and kill them or take them out of the house, but that we must respect and care for them. I tell you that we have 13 different species in our arthropod between spiders, scorpions, centipedes, thousand feet, and some insects. Well, I am going to introduce you to a friend that I have in my hands at this moment, we call him Macarena in this region. He is a thousand feet, a lot of people, he is afraid of a little scare, the colors are very striking. The legs are quite a lot. That is why many are known as millipedes, this is a harmless animal, really for what people believe, that they have poison, they believe that they are going to attack us, but really, if it is a very harmless animal, I can do it for a reason have in my hands, at this moment the only thing he does is tickle me a lot with his amount of paws, while he walks on my arm. If I this little animal will bother him if they have a defense, he has a defense that is a bit dangerous. It turns out that on top of each one of his legs he has some little holes, some holes through which he will secrete a cyanide, poison. If I were bothering him, he would release that cyanide and that cyanide could burn my hands, it could burn me third grade, can I in stain, he can leave them black or purple, but since I am not bothering him, he is simply walking and moving around my hand, he is very calm and he is not going to do it, it would be a very interesting means of defense from the rest if they called the great recyclers of nature. Why? Because they help us clean the floor, how do they do it? They eat the plants that are already decomposed. Los animales que se murieron están. The animals that have died and are decomposing on the ground. How do we get those nutrients back? They return us to the soil through their feces and return nutrients that the soil has not been able to use. This is our great recycler of nature, it is one of the largest species that we manage here. Les voy a mostrar. I am going to show you a little animal very similar to him but a little smaller. Este que tenemos acá. This one we have here is also a thousand feet, but it is a brown millipede, a little smaller, this is the size it would reach as adults and it is a little more aggressive. Es un poquitico más agresivo, el veneno que se agrega. The poison it secretes is also cyanide, but it secretes at a level liquid, the smell is much stronger. El olor es mucho más fuerte. The almond smell characteristic of a cyanide, and it can stain my hand much more or leave me a third degree burn if I bothered it. People don't like thousand feet brown much, but they are really quite harmless. People believe that there are only spiders and scorpions, but I am going to introduce you to a relative of scorpions and spiders, this little animal is called, a pillion, or as people know it, a pat on a spider, Although it is not really a spider, it is a arachnid, but it is not a spider. Es un gran depredador. It is a great predator, it eats small animals and they help us control insect populations. Insectos, pero no but it does not have poison and it is not aggressive. At this moment all it wants is to run away. Si yo lo yes I now he will bother. With his front paws, y va a tratar. he will scratch me and try to leave and walk away, letting go of his paws because instead of actually hurting us, at that moment he is afraid of my size, of the person who is manipulating him, 
in this case, it's me, all it wants to do is run away. Es una de las especies. It's one of the smallest species of arachnids that we handle here at the Arthropodarium, and if you want to know more, we're going to invite you to visit us. Bueno, y aquí en mis manos. Here in my hands, I have two of the insects, which we have in our Arthropodarium. Tenemos los llamados insecto palo. We have the so-called stick insects, known as the ghosts of nature. ¿Por qué? Why? Because since they look like sticks, they can easily blend into the trees, into the plants, la gente no los va a ver. People will not see them and many times they can be confused with branches, or with sticks. This one we have here is the male and this one that we have here is the female. Son grupos sociales muy grandes. They are very large social groups. They are one of the few animals that we have here in large numbers. Pueden vivir. They can live, breed, the females lay the eggs. Los Take care of the eggs and then they can all live in nature. Con los bebés. Adults, with babies, with young, with eggs and live in a perfectly united society, unlike the other animals that I have shown many of them prefer to live alone, o no permiten. or do not allow other types of animals to live with them. Estos son animalitos. These are also harmless little animals, in some places it is believed that there are beliefs or myths, De que si. that if the stick insect stops on one's head and opens its wings, o hace unos movimientos. Or make some special movements that day or the next day it will to die. Pero realmente eso no es cierto. Because that is not really true, in its nature it is to be of dark colors, to have wings, some to be of colors like como rojo, red, blue, green or purple, but none of them have poison. Ellos solamente comen they only eat plants, hojas de todo tipo, leaves of all kinds and help us control and make flowers more beautiful, like pruning flowers. Como apodar las flores. But they have absolutely no poison and they don't they are not going to do us any harm. Hay otra gente que le tiene miedo. There are other people who are afraid of them, because they are called horse killers, well this is really false. People believe that if the horse eats the stick insect it will be poisoned and it will die, Well it turns out that they are not and many times when the horse is grazing. Pueden comerse sin querer uno de estos animalitos. They can inadvertently eat one of these little animals, and what it produces is an internal substance that can make the horse feel uncomfortable and stop eating. But not because it has poison and wants to kill it. Bueno, y ahora estamos aquí. Well, now we are here inside the arthropodarium. I tell you this is a very dark place. It looks like a cave. Why? Because many of our little animals, some of the species, not all, Necesitan y les encanta mucho. need and love the dark much more. So here whenever they come to visit us they will see that this is a dark place. Un lugar donde ellos se sienten. A place where they feel comfortable, where they feel calm and where the people, the public who visit us, can see them. En mi mano tengo In my hand I have a spider mold. De tarantula para ser más exactos. A tarantula. To be more exact it turns out that they change their skin to grow like some snakes. Or like snakes do in general. Esto es la piel vieja. This is the old skin of a tarantula. Ella se sintió ya que... She already felt that it needed to grow simply becomes much bigger. Cambia. Its entire structure changes and a much larger spider remains. Mucho más grande. It does this throughout its life in order to grow and grow and grow. Las hembras lo hacen. The females do it more consistently than the males. Los machos solamente que llegan. The males only stop molting when they are ready to reproduce, whereas females do it all their lives. Hacen toda la vida. ¿Por qué? Why? Because they need the part of their abdomen to grow and be large enough to be able to carry the eggs and be able to place them and be able to reproduce better. Puede reproducirse mejor. It is then, as I told you, It is the molting of a spider and the tarantula of our species that we have here. Bueno, de los escorpiones que tenemos acá. Of the scorpions that we have here, we have two species that are from the region, as I had told you, our part of the conservation program is to be able to maintain and show the public that visits us the species from here in the San Antonio del Tequendama region. San Antonio del Tequendama. Entonces son... So, they are very little known species many times. Sí son some are known and some are very small. We have two species of scorpions. The first, Chactas Kieserlingi. That is a small, shiny black scorpion. The male and female can live for some time. 
Sin embargo, no pueden... However, they cannot live in large groups, because since they are predators, they may end up attacking each other. Atacándose mutuamente. La otra especie... The other species is a type of Buthidae family of one of the most poisonous scorpions that we have in Colombia and in the world. Sin embargo, este no es tan venenoso. However, this one is not so poisonous, opaque and dark gray and of a relatively medium size. De mediano. We cannot differentiate between a male and a female of that species. Eso solamente lo podríamos hacer. We could only do that if we handled the animal we didn't have and we opened it and Por eso aquí. looked inside. That's why here we only keep one, to prevent them from damaging, attacking or killing the young or the eggs when they have them. Los los otros son las the others are the tarantulas, as I was talking about. We also have tarantulas separated. We have a male, we have a female and we have the young and the juveniles to show the public. Resulta que las especies, estas especies son It turns out that these species are clearly territorial, especially the females. The females take care of their house like a good mother. They love to be alone, that nothing enters their house, they do not have visitors of any kind. And when the male arrives he has to ask for a series of permits, with special movements so that she allows him to enter and let her be with her for a few days to be able to reproduce and after that she has to leave because she doesn't like visitors. Y bueno, para terminar, and good to finish. We invite you to visit us at the Santa Cruz Zoo Foundation, the Arthropodarium, a place for conservation of arthropod species, de artrópodos, única en Cundinamarca, unique in Cundinamarca, dedicated to the species of the region and soon to invite you because we are going to have the arrival from a little animal also to our Arthropodarium that will soon be able to see it. Lo podrán ver.